term silo mentality comes from the business world and it occurs when several departments or groups within an organization do not want to share information or knowledge with other individuals in the same organization. Information silos may be one of the most overlooked barriers in education. And while it may not be surprising that siloing exists in education, it is certainly interesting that it continues to exist. So what are some reasons that information silos continue to exist? Well, there's a chance that some educators are afraid of stepping on each other's toes. A means for open dialogue hasn't occurred and ideas aren't freely shared. Sometimes there just aren't other people in your same field, so you may be seen as an expert or as one with all of the information simply because there hasn't been a way to share your information yet. On those lines, we may not know who to talk to or how to access someone with knowledge in a specific content area because the lines of communication are minimal or separated into various fields. And in some cases, an educator or team member may simply like to hoard information. There could be a lack of trust with other team members or administration, which could make collaboration difficult or uncomfortable. One way to help break down these silos is to think in terms of we or us versus I and you and they. Sometimes I and you can create a sense of exclusivity. Listen to these examples with these pronouns. I've never done this before. How are you going to support your student? Now listen with the I and you switched back out. We've never done this before. How are we going to support our student? By simply changing these terms, it appears to suggest that we're approaching things from a team perspective and not as an expert delegating or simply dumping information to other team members. Here are some questions to ask yourself or to think of as a team when thinking in terms of breaking free from the silo mentality and the silo effect. This first one addresses fear and possibly imposter syndrome. Am I doing the right thing? Will I be found out if I don't have all the right answers? What if I do have the answers and then I share it with someone else? Then I'm not the only one with the answers anymore. These other questions address collaboration and connecting with others. And by truly getting to the heart of the matter, answering these questions will force you to think and act differently and can also motivate your team members to learn and grow together. By modeling effective collaboration and sharing information, we remind colleagues that we're all in this together. This platform can work wonders for a team to work just as that, a team, and not as a group of individuals or experts.